Hello Commanders, Nerd Steve here. Elite Dangerous Odyssey has been released, and like with every major update, the new key bindings aren't set by default. Without having spent time playing with the controls, you may be looking for help getting started. We've tried a few different setups for you, and have come up with what we think is the best key binding settings for on-foot gameplay. Welcome to the New Level Nerds. So the first thing we'll notice about the Lead Dangerous Odyssey menu is that it looks a lot better. Everything has been separated into these tiles. Let's head into the controls. You'll notice that all the controls have been separated out into these four tiles. General, Ship, SRV, and On Foot. We're only going to be looking at the On Foot controls today. We're presented with two drop-down menus, On Foot and Mode Switches. Let's open up On Foot. Mouse X-axis and Mouse Y-axis are set to what's comfortable for most people by default. Move forward, move backward, strafe left and strafe right can be set to W, S, A, D. Turn left, turn right, look up and look down are all what your mouse would do anyways. You don't need to set these ones. Sprint is left shift most commonly. Walk makes you move more slowly in your environment. If you do want to set it, I would set it to left alt, otherwise you don't need to. Crouch is set to left control. You can also set it to C, but in this tutorial we'll be setting it elsewhere. Jump is set to space. There are two interact buttons. I've set those to E and F. The next setting is open item wheel. I found this clunky and very unusable, but if you do set it, Put it to your middle mouse button. In order to make the item wheel usable, set item wheel accepts mouse input to on. Fire weapon is mouse 1, and aim down sights is mouse 2. Throw grenade should be on G, and I've set melee attack to Q. Set reload to R unless you have a personal preference. Switch weapon, leave blank. Select primary weapon is 1 and secondary is 2. Sometimes you will have two primary weapons and you will use one to switch between them. Leave the select tool option blank, although if you would prefer to use it, I recommend setting it to the tilde key underneath the escape key on your keyboard. Select next weapon and select previous weapon are going to be set to your scroll wheel. It doesn't matter which direction you scroll in, just choose one for each option. Holster weapon is Z. Select next grenade type and previous grenade type are set to these buttons on your keyboard. Toggle flashlight is T. Since F is being used, it still keeps it close to your hand. Night vision is N. I'm using C for toggle shields because it's easy for your thumb to reach at the beginning of a fight. Select Energy Link, Profile Analyzer, and Sue Specific Tool have been put in 3, 4, and 5. If you ever forget which one is which, you can just click along your numbers row until you find the tool you wish to use. Toggle Tool Mode is set to M. It's the same button I use to switch modes in the cockpit, and I find it most natural. Toggle Help is H, and should be easy to remember. Under the On Foot Mode Switches menu, You'll be setting most of these to the F buttons at the top of your keyboard because it is closest to the default positions for these buttons in cockpit mode. Quick comms, if you do want to use, set to the return button, but I don't use it. Those are all the controls we're going to cover for today. If you'd like to know more, you can drop a comment or join us in the Discord. The link is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, drop us a like and even subscribe so you can see more of what we do. Other than that, thanks for watching the nerds. My name is Steve, and we'll see you starside.